Uh, my name is Jennifer Phillips, and uh, I'm a research scientist right now at the Bard Center for Environmental Policy in uh, the Hudson Valley of New York. I'm also a sheep farmer, and we're on my farm today here. I raise 100% grass-fed sheep, and they're intensively grazed through 86 acres that I have here in the Hudson Valley. And one of the reasons that I feel like this is a, a good system for moving into an age of climate change is we've got permanent pasture on all the fields and permanent pasture is good for building soil organic matter, protecting the soil from erosion. We definitely have already had plenty of events where we have very high rainfall and row crops are really vulnerable to soil loss. But permanent pasture does beautifully. One of the other things that I'm trying to do on this farm to prepare for climate change is I'm planting as many trees as I can, but as summers get hotter, clearly being able to keep those animals cool is going to be really important. One of the things that I've learned from my research in the past is whether you call it climate change or not, farmers are pretty good at managing climate risk, and that's what we need them to be able to do. I mean, we're lucky in the United States, we have a lot of resources, but you know, most uh, there's a lot of other places in the world where people are trying to grow food where they don't have the resources that we have. So um, on a global scale, I think we're going to definitely see some challenges in terms of food production in the next 50 years. There's a lot that can be done that aren't necessarily directly related to climate change, but climate change is only going to exacerbate some of the challenges that we have in providing enough food for the world. We're watching this thing unfold. It's just amazing to me that action is so difficult to accomplish to try to limit climate change. The image in my mind is, is the Petri dish with the uh, algae or the bacteria in there using up all their resources and fouling their own environment and ending up dying. Future generations are gonna say, what were you thinking? You knew what was going on. How could you have not um, made the changes necessary. Sometimes I feel optimistic and other times I don't. It's gonna take some radical change in the farming sector to really handle this because it's gonna be dramatic. <laughs>